Howdy, Jerome Wright here, and once again, you're joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Um, Sunday morning, um, what's today's date? The day is 8-24-2014, and on this beautiful morning, I'm going to um, give the world their, not one, but two logical explanations for what the Baghdad battery, or the infamous Baghdad battery, was actually used for. Um, the, um, the explanations that I give you will outweigh any other theory or possibility of what these devices, or um, these batteries were actually used for. Um, the two leading theories that are out there today in our world relating to the Baghdad battery um, is the one is that it was for an electrical source, lighting. There, well, actually, the ancient aliens have turned it into something lighting for you, um, which I reject wholeheartedly um, because I know what the other device, that light device, was. It's actually. I'm making reference to um, genetic bridging, <clears throat> so I know that that's not that the light bulb theory is out. And then the other one, which I buy into even more though, is the um, that they said that they were using it for a um, a device to actually make. Um, in fact, I just got a third idea too, by the way, too. That's going to be actually better than anything. But um, the third the third idea <clears throat> would have been. Um, um, that's leading is that it was a um, a nerve stimulating device where they stimulated nerves with this I'm gonna come up with um, I'm gonna come up with the best ideas first of all <coughs> um, this is not the one this is the one that just came into mind just now this is this is where my paranormal experience and, and encounter takes me but I'm gonna give you one just just came off the top of my head that actually competes with all of them. Um, our ancient ancestors um, during that time, I mean, you have to know ancient Egypt, Baghdad, those eras, uh, areas, Arabs, um, could have been easily, could have been a tattoo making device, a fur needle to stimulate to um, the, uh, the, um, the inks to take in um, a, a tapping device to make a make tattoos. It could have been a tattoo making device, giving an, an electrical charge to a device, which actually calls for tattoos to be made, which we see today. Now, that's not what I actually have, but that's actually just three things that I'm going to throw out there. But the the number the, the number one and two the the one and two we're going to be the more likeliest ones. But just to show you that how my mind thinks way outside of the box, but the next two are going to be the ones that this device is actually used for. Um, you know what this is? And look at that. You know, when I looked at it last night <clears throat> and it came across my mind, you know the first thing that comes to mind when, you, when I see this device? You see that? And even it said that the money pit um, the money pit is is um is on Oak Island. They call it the money pit. They said that even one of them <clears throat> that the the money pit that deep hole that everybody was sinking their money in actually resembles <clears throat> that of the bag bag battery too. The um the chemistry of the um of the money pit. There's a hole in the ground, and they're stating that in the hole in the ground is actually the chemistry of what is designed inside of here is also in that deep pit on that large scale magnitude. All right. <clears throat> you know what these devices are to, to no further ado. I'm gonna make this video short and sweet. Our ancestors were in the business of mining. Everywhere globally you have mines being dug, enormous mines deep. Along with mining goes explosives. Here is the Assyrian rock carvings. Okay, um, that's in that's in, actually that's in Iraq. Here is the Afghanistan area. 
all globally, everywhere, we have similar pictures. People then mining of these megalithic rocks, moving of rocks, cutting of rocks. Our ancestors would have mastered the technology of explosives. Now, this device, this is, not, this is actually, I guess, is just a model of one. Only gave, it was, I think they said it was like six inches in, in, um, in height or something of that nature. Six inches in height or, uh, um, and not much more in width. They said that it only gave out um, one to two volts. Okay? One to two volts. That's all this gave out in energy. People, the only thing in our world today that actually can survive with one to two, to, uh, what, what actually works with one to two volts is a detonator. That's it. A detonator to activate explosives only need one to five volts. I mean, one. I'm sorry, one and a half volts. Forgive me. One and a half volts of electricity to send a charge to another device and detonate it. <clears throat> you only need one and a half volts to set off a charge. Now, our globally, our ancestors were into mining. So people, don't you, I mean, isn't this, isn't this a no-brainer that this device is a detonator of a device? Now check this out, because here comes number two. That's number one that I just gave you, that this is a detonating device, sends off to, a, um, um, to another device, which actually causes for there to be an explosion. Our ancestors knew that being up close on these charges, they would get killed. So they got something that got them a little further away. This one and a half volts that this device produces is enough to set off a charge or explosion somewhere else, presumably in a cave or in mines where they were mining. Now, later on, this device could have actually became a weapon. For booby traps, like that money pit area thing that they have on, going on, um, imagine opening up a door, or opening up a place or location, and just by tapping the tap the top of this, a charge is set off. So this device in itself can be a contained explosive device in itself. Now, <clears throat> look at this device with the rod coming down the middle, the copper around, and they said that there's a chemistry inside of there. People, the only thing that goes with a chemistry, with liquids and chemistry, besides that we have our battery there, now even our batteries in our cars, imagine this as a battery in a car, and that's 12 volts, a battery in a car. I wish I would have brought up a picture. Our batteries with the acids inside can even explode. They tell you that be careful because a battery can explode on you. <clears throat> with a reversed energy. Here's dynamite with a charge. Dynamite. Look at this. Rod coming out. Baghdad battery. Rod coming out. You see that? All you need is the chemistry of the wiring to come over to this. And you can detonate this device. So not only is this a detonator... To, 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 to give voltage to somewhere else to, 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 um, to send off an explosion. But this device in itself can be an explosive device if you have wires coming from another direction to set off the energy chemistry inside of this. A bomb. So, I've given you Baghdad battery. I've given you three scenarios that outweigh that out that, that that are far more greater in reality and believing than what we have today which is being a a lighting source and two being a stimulator for nerves explosive devices how come in the world I am the only one to, and I'm claiming to have this paranormal experience and encounter how come I'm the only one people that can bring you this 
Imagine two wires coming into this. This has an explosive substance in there. And basically all you have to do on the other end is tap the negative wire and the positive wire together over here. Hold on. Let me put positive and negative if you can see that. Okay. There's a positive and there's a negative. I have two wires going, one to the positive, one to the side of the top. I'm tapping them together somewhere else. There's that sends in a, 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 um, a short circuit in here and boom, it blows up. Or to reverse this, because this, 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 in my scenario, this can work either way. This can actually send that charge somewhere else because all you have to do is be on this end, this being your power. And, so, and, and rather than having a plunger, which is a detonator, you're sending off an explosion somewhere else. So you can send off the explosion in a distance of somewhere else, creating an explosion elsewhere using this this um, this low voltage, this one and a half voltage of energy, to ignite one of these guys on another. You can have two of these, whereas you don't put the explosive chemistry inside of this, but you put it into the other one. So you have two of these. You have the explosive chemistry in the other one, so you tap your your negative and then your charge here. I mean your negative and positive here, which sends off the explosion in the other one in the distance. So if you have two of these, you have an explosive device. This one does not have the explosive um, um, chemistry in it, but the other one does. Or you can reverse it. So we can make this a detonator or an explosive. I'm going to end that video there because I think you got the picture. And this is the picture. Our ancestors, again, were in the business of mining. Globally, this is all they did. This explains how a lot of these tunnels and passageways along our world have been dug and cleared. Mining operations that were done with explosives. Now, yes, they needed light, but the torch ideas and all of this, this is where we're at with that. And I do have, I'm gonna do a video on that as well. Later, I'm not even gonna go into that, but it's my position that I've come up with the best explanation. I'm not even gonna call it a theory because it's actually factual. The best explanation, the, 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 the factual explanation for what this device is. Now imagine this is being used also for booby traps, for, um, for landmines, for anything. That's what this device was. I'm going to put more in writing. I'm going to end right there. Thank you.